Abraham built an altar for God. What made him want to worship God? God had taken a 75-year-old man out of his homeland and led him to a new country, making extravagant promises to him for his faith and his obedience. There was no written revelation at the time. There was no covenant history, no people of God. Just a man and his faith and a land of promise. In a sense, this father of our faith is the prototype, I guess you could say. We too have been called out of our homeland, this fallen world, and he is leading us to a new country, the kingdom of God. We too have been made some pretty extravagant promises for our faith and obedience. And though we have a written revelation to learn from and a history of God's people to inherit, it's all pretty new to us. We enter into the kingdom of God with nothing but a call and a promise. And we just simply have to walk forward and proceed by faith. So whenever God gives us figuratively a piece of land, in other words, any victory at any stage of our pilgrimage, we need to build an altar. And that's what I want to talk to us about today. We need to worship every step of our journey with God for, where, for whatever he has given and whenever he has appeared for the privilege of the call and the guidance that comes along the way are reason enough for an enormous amount of gratitude. God has called us not only to go to a new country, but to be his. An altar of thanks is only appropriate. So today on this Monday, man, I want to say this before I close. Our lives should be filled with these kinds of altars, monuments to the goodness of God for how he has called and where he has led us to. For every step toward the promise of the kingdom, we owe him thanks. For every piece of the promised land that we are allowed to stand upon, we should be grateful for none of it is earned. All of it is grace, and we are allowed to participate in this plan by bringing nothing but faith. For it was Abraham's faith that opened the way to magnificent blessing, and so does ours. Give thanks, not just today, but every day. Build altars whenever you can. Worship God for the privilege of hearing his call.